Today I'm going to show you how to bring some life to your locked off shots using the dynamic zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. What's going on, Jay Lippman here with another tutorial. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're looking at the dynamic zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve. Dynamic zoom is one of my favorite tools to use when making these tutorials. Anything that I record here in my studio, you've already seen it use that whole zoom out effect in the beginning of this video before my little intro ring, I don't even know what to call it. But that was dynamic zoom and the great thing about it is where normally you would have to use keyframes and other softwares, with this you just press a button and it's done. But that zoom out effect isn't the only thing that you can do with it. There's actually a lot that you can do with dynamic zoom. I've got some footage queued up in DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump in and take a look at how to use dynamic zoom. All right, so we're in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. You can see I've got some footage queued up. These are just static handheld shots. It might as well have been locked off on a tripod. There's absolutely no panning or zooming or anything. There's just no movement on these clips whatsoever. And if I were to throw some cinematic black bars on top of this footage and export this sequence, this is what it would look like. can all pretty much agree that that was a horrible sequence. It was super, super boring. There's no movement whatsoever. I just, it was basically what? A, a good looking slideshow? It's just bad. What we want to do is bring some life to those shots. We want some panning. We want some zooming. And to do that, we're going to use the dynamic zoom effect. Now to use the dynamic zoom effect, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the clip you're working with is selected. You're going to go over here to your inspector and you're going to hit the dynamic zoom switch, which is going to turn that on and then double click on dynamic zoom. It's going to bring a drop down box with two things that you need to pay attention to. The first thing is the dynamic zoom ease and dynamic zoom ease gives you four different options, linear ease in ease out and ease in and out. So for this first clip, we're going to choose linear, which basically means the speed of the zoom is constant throughout the clip. So as we play this clip, you can see that the zoom is the same speed. The zoom goes the entire length of the clip and it starts from zoomed in to zoomed out. Let's move over to this next clip. Make sure it's selected. We're going to go ahead and turn dynamic zoom on and we're going to choose ease in. And again, this clip is starting zoomed in and then zooming out, but this time it's starting off slow and it's actually speeding up as the clip goes on. All right, this next clip, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn dynamic zoom on and we're gonna choose ease out. And again, this is a zoom out effect, but this time it's the opposite of ease in. This time it's starting off fast and slowing down as the clip goes on, which means by now you should probably guess that if we turn dynamic zoom on on this last clip and we choose ease in and out, this is gonna start off slow, it's gonna speed up in the middle and then it's gonna slow down at the end. And then let's say instead of having a zoom out effect, you actually wanted this to zoom in, you would just hit this swap button in the inspector. And now you can see if I scrub through this footage that it is actually zooming in on the clip instead of zooming out. Now already we've got like eight different options that we can do with these clips. We can do ease in, ease out, ease in and out, linear. We can have it zooming out. We can have it zooming in. There's just a bunch of stuff you can do, but that's not all. You can actually use this to pan. You can make it so as it's zooming out, it's also panning. It's, a, it's pretty cool and it's pretty easy to do. I'll show you. All right, let's move over to this clip with the camera. We're gonna make this pan and zoom at the same time. And all we wanna do in order to do that is we wanna click this drop down box at the bottom left of your playback monitor and you're gonna choose dynamic zoom. You're gonna see these two boxes. You're gonna see this green box and this red box. 
And this green box here is your starting point and this red box is your ending point. So everything that's inside this green box is what you're gonna see at the beginning of the clip and everything that's inside the red box is what you're gonna see towards the end of the clip. So let's say I want this to pan a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take this green box and I'm gonna move it over to the left. And then if we play that clip, you can see it's zooming out as it's panning. Now let's say for this microphone shot, I actually want to make the zoom a little bit more extreme. What I can do is I can zoom in a little bit more, get more focus on the blue logo and it'll zoom out to full frame by the end of the clip. And the one thing you do need to keep in mind is since we have a longer way to go for our zoom, the zoom is actually gonna be a lot faster than it was when we looked at it before. Moving on to the clip of our microphone, this time what we wanna do is actually just a pan down effect and we're gonna actually try and minimize the zoom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this red rectangle down we're gonna drag the green rectangle up and now you can see we have a pan down. And now let's do something kind of extreme for this last clip. Let's go ahead. We're gonna bring this up to the top right corner, shrink this red box down a little bit, bring that down to the bottom right corner and see what that looks like. And now I can throw my black bars back on there and this is what the sequence looks like. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that looks a lot better. If you wanna learn more about how I edit in DaVinci Resolve, I've got a playlist linked right up here. You should definitely check that out. And right down here, you'll see a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload something new. All right, talk to you later.